Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have been stopping by my channel and have not subscribed yet, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And for my extended family that has been showing support, thank you so much for the love and blessings and the positive feedback. I really do appreciate that. I'm going to start going ahead and shorten my intro so it doesn't be too long so it takes away from the message. So I'm going to just go ahead and start doing it that way. So, I am listening to morning music from po for positive energy and harmony and inner peace. Music for mood and creativity, 432. 432 hertz, my bad. But yes, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's letting go what no longer serves you. Oh my gosh. Yes, I've been hearing that a lot. You know, and it's sometimes it's really hard for us to let go what no longer serves us. It could be anything. It could really be anything. And, um, I'm going to take, uh, -oh, just a second. I said my mouse fell down. But yeah, it could be anything that no longer serves us. It could be negative thinking, it could be toxic relationships, it could be just the way we go about things, it could be addictions, it doesn't even have to be drugs, it can just be, it can be drugs, it can be alcohol, it can be gossiping, it could be negative speaking out to the universe, it could be anything. But we need to let go of what no longer serves us, that, you know, that keeps us, you know, we're, we hold on to things out of fear. And even though we might not think we're, oh, we're okay, oh, we let go of things, but then we have a tendency to run back to things when we get stressed out. And, you know, I'm not even going to lie, we're all human, you know, especially it, it could be, you could be stressed out about, you know, finances, or you could be stressed out about your relationship, or you could be stressed out about a job, or just, you know, people that you just don't get along with because you just don't like your job. So it's just like... When we, when we go through things like that, we have to put ourselves in a positive aspect, knowing that things will get better. And trust me, <laughs> I, 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 I do that a lot. I do that a lot. And it could be, you know, my negative thought pattern. And it's just like, I felt like, oh, okay, you know, what I went through is really a lot to deal with. But you have to get past it. You know, you can't just cling on to it just because this is something that you're just so used to. And it's just like if you have been in a negative state for so long and then when you choose to be happy, that negative thought pattern tends to come up because you have just been in that situation so long that when you try to change over, it seems hard at times. And trust me, it, I mean, it's, you're not the only one who goes through that. You're not. So it's just like you have to put yourself in a in positive aspect. Meditate. Think positive. You know, just, just start doing... You know, two or three positive things a day, if you possibly can. You know, pray about it. <laughs> and then, no, you know, and just let nature take its course. You know, because I know it gets hard at times, but we have to be patient. And that's one thing a lot of us do not have is patience. It's a lot. <laughs> patience is a lot. Because I struggle with patience a lot because it's just like when you have, you, you try to look at your situation so many different ways on positive situation, you know, try to look at it in positive, you know, situations or whatever, or a positive outlook. It could be so much chaos going around you, even though you try to be positive at times. I mean, you get tired of being strong for so long. You can, it can emotionally and mentally drain you. And even, you know, mess with your spirituality a lot because it, you know, messes with your faith. And that's when you have to, you know, step blind in faith and just know that God's got you. So I hope you are able to get something out of this message. But let go of what lo no longer serves you. Trust me, I'm doing it every day. And I mean, it can be hard, but you know, what we want, what we truly go for is not easy. So it's just like when you're going for things, you're going to have to go about it a totally different way than you've ever have done before. So just remember that. And keep that positive mindset and just know that things will get better. Even though it might not seem clear right now, trust me, it's going to get better. I know that. I feel it and see it every day. So I hope you are able to resonate with this message. I hope you drop a line. 
like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video uh, drop me a line or two even if it's about your spirituality or about the content of my video or just you know something that you just want to let me know just because you're knowing a little bit about me every day so i will talk to you later much love and light send out as much positivity as you possibly can and namaste much love peace and be well